Motor nameplate is unique for each motor. It has data specific for that motor. In this video, I will discuss motor nameplate data. Let's get started. The manufacturer of this motor is, Siemens. We have motor power in horsepower. Sometimes, it is expressed in kilowatt. No matter what the power unit is. In calculations, we can convert horsepower to kilowatt. Motor full load current. The current in amperes on the nameplate is the motor full load current. This means that, if the motor mechanical load is lower than the full load, then the current will be lower than the nameplate full load current. We set the overload protection device according to the value on the nameplate. Motor operating voltage. Motor voltage is one of the most critical information on the nameplate. Connecting the motor on lower voltage causes the motor to draw higher current than it's rated. While connecting the motor on a higher voltage causes the motor winding insulation to break down, and the motor to burn out. Frequency. The power source frequency should be suitable for the motor. The motor output power on the nameplate, depends on the frequency, and rated voltage of the motor. Motor service factor. Service factor, defines the percentage of the load the motor can handle beyond its rated load. Some applications require the motor to be overloaded for short periods without being damaged. Service factor 1, means the motor is only designed to handle its load. While service factor of 1.15 means, the motor can handle up to 15% overload of its full load. Some motors are 1.25 and 1.5 service factor. It's worth to mention that a motor lifetime decreases by the increase of the load. Phase numbers. Induction motors are not one type, we have single and three phase motors. Motor RPM is a mechanical information, but in many tasks, I need this information when I order a new induction motor, for a mechanical load. I ask the mechanical engineer about the load RPM, to make sure that the motor is suitable for the load. The most common speeds of the induction motors are, 1500 and 3000 RPM. However you will never find these numbers on the nameplate. This is because these are the synchronous speed. While motors never run in this speed. It's common to find the motor speed 1485 RPM or 2890 RPM, insulation class. This parameter defines, the motor winding insulation ability to handle temperature rise. The higher the class the better. The most common class I come through is F. I have written a detailed article about the insulation class, you can read it from the link in the description. Duty cycle. Motor duty, defines the period of time the motor can work with its load. Some motors are suitable for continuous work, while others are just designed for short time periods working. If the duty is not on the nameplate, then it's continuous or S1. Motor frame. The physical dimensions of the motor body. Mounting dimensions, shaft length, diameter and shaft height, and distance between holes, all these data are set as frame size. Motor bearing. Another mechanical parameter, both drive and non-drive and bearing is set on the nameplate. In fact, this parameter is important when preparing a spare parts list for the motor.